right, so next is the blade. Okay, so they're gonna give you this nice sharp blade. Uh, there's gonna be a blade and there's gonna be a handle. Okay, so what I recommend is Whichever way they put the blade into the handle, sometimes it's not aligned for maybe what you're used to or what you like. So make sure you look at that, note that before you start. You don't want to be waste time, wasting time fiddling with this. So in the five minutes you get before you start, you're going to take your, uh, your little blade and you're going to arrange it properly. So what I like to do personally is I like to see this flat plane here on the handle right there. I like to take the blade flip it, have it perpendicular and the sharp edge away from that flat plane right here. Then you tighten it up. The reason I do that is because I feel it's nice and comfy against my pinky finger right there. So when I'm making cuts like this or cuts like that, mostly cuts like this, it's going to be nice and comfy in my hands. So just go with what you're used to, what you practiced with. and. Uh, yeah, do that on the test. So here we have our rulers. And again, as I said before, you get five minutes to open up all your stuff. You don't obviously don't get to look at the pattern until you get to until you start. But you get five minutes to um, to kind of make sure your pencils are sharp. Your blade is good. You take your soap out. You examine it. OK, if your soap has any imperfections, make sure you take it back and ask for a new one. Don't be shy because, you know, you don't want to be hindered because you started with a, you know, a foot chopped off in a way. So if, you're, if your soap is missing, like if there's a chunk out of it or if you don't think it's symmetrical, take it back. Take it to the instructor and say, hey, this is unacceptable. I want a new soap. And they have to give you a new soap. So as long as it's in the five minutes before um, the timer starts and they do give you five minutes to look at all this to make sure. Yeah, make sure you're all organized. In that five minutes, you're gonna to wanna to take your ruler. As you can see, this ruler is a bit firm when they give it to you originally, okay? I personally don't really like that. It's kinda of hard to make measurements. So what I did is I would separate the backing from the front of this ruler, okay, very carefully. I'd peel it back, and then when you're done peeling it back, you're left with this. Okay, it's a lot more flimsy. Okay, so you can wrap it around the soap a lot better when you're making your circumferential lines, when you're doing your measurements like that, that's how I'd wrap it around the soap. Okay. Yeah, and if you if you try to do that with this firm ruler here, it just doesn't wrap around nicely. You kind of you're kind of fighting it a bit. It's a bit tough. So, you can do it this way, but I suggest taking the backing off and making it a bit more flimsy in your hands so you can manipulate it better. All right. So, I also wanted to go over um, the fact that you can't bring really anything in except for your analog wristwatch and Well, that's about it. So yeah, when you come into the the MDT make sure you have your wristwatch here um, But like for example, I made the mistake of coming in with my own pencils So what I did and what I practiced with with which was kind of stupid was I Had this very very fine tip mechanical pencil. It was 0.3 millimeter mechanical pencil so it was very fine I loved it for making those really fine markings you know originally when you're doing your lines and I brought it in and they said yeah you can't use that so I was kind of bummed out so that's why you know don't bring your own pencils because they'll make you throw them out that's why I say sharpen these as sharp as you can possibly get them and uh, yeah make sure that you have enough at least three, like I said, at least three of these because you might break a tip and you don't want to waste time sharpening while you're supposed to be carving your soap.